today, the oath ceremony for the new cabinet of the Gujarat Chief Minister Bhupendra Patel will be held today afternoon. It was to be held yesterday, but there was a change at the last minute. This after elaborate arrangements had been made at the governor's house and hoardings had been put up. Sources indicated that differences over the new council of ministers were at the bottom of this sudden reschedule. The entire Gujarat cabinet had resigned last week along with then Chief Minister Vijay Rupani. Now in line with the view that BJP was aiming at a hard reboot in the state ahead of next year's assembly elections. There were reports that all 22 ministers would be dropped and new faces would be brought in. Let's go across to Saurabh Gupta now for more. And Saurabh, tell us more about what you're hearing. And there's, uh, there's said to be last minute lobbying also by the senior ministers, who former ministers who were dropped. Well, yes, that's what, uh, you know, sources are telling us that of course, there is some sort of you know back and forth over who all what you know who all want what portfolios and what positions. But in all of this, there's one thing that uh, is very clear that this is a change in Gujarat that has been engineered by the top, and by the top we mean uh, the two of the BJP's foremost leaders, which is uh, Amit Shah, the Union Home Minister, and of course, um, uh, you know Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister. So in this case, what they're saying is that this is, of course, uh, nobody is going to challenge this, given the fact that it's from the top. And Amit Shah was in Gandhinagar, you know, on the day of the swearing in, and post the, uh, you know, post the uh, swearing in of the chief minister, he held meetings to sort out cabinet, you know, and council of ministers. But there is a lot of, uh, you know, tussle over who gets what, and that's something that we've been told by sources. But no one really is going to mount an open challenge to whatever. Uh, the top two uh, in the BJP decide. That's something that's uh, very clear and uh, something that MLAs in Gujarat know very well. So, uh, but there is of course wrangling for positions, and that's why you know it's been pushed to today. All right, uh, Sora, thanks so much for joining us with that. So that swearing-in ceremony to take place today afternoon.